Hi folks, Speedway Tag here. This is a quick uh, video about Oreos, which is uh, an older Button Shy, uh, Button Shy line game, uh, which of course Button Shy produced these cute little wallet games of 18 cards, fits in that wallet. And uh, this game is all about uh, building um, these raised, very ornate looking um, granaries um, in, in Spain. Um, and yeah, and so this, very peaceful relaxing game uh, involves you taking uh, cards like that each of them are double-sided so there's it's there's quite a bit of variety on them on each card there are various um, um, icons and certain features like this one's got you're looking for doors this one's got a door that one's got an owl um, then you've got certain uh, little statues on top of the granary there and the pillars down the bottom make uh, a difference as well. And sometimes you might even see mice uh, crawling up on top of the granary as well, which you're trying to avoid. So you're building this this in front of you as a as a elongated <laughs> a tableau, if you like. Um, and you build it in front of you. I'll show you in a minute. And you hide certain parts of cards, and you overlay certain parts of cards trying to get your best combination of of those um, features that are on the cards kind of in the middle of the game here Th this card is um, d denotes who um, um, well it, it if, if it's facing you you get to choose um, who goes first when it, when it, uh, both people choose the same action and so also reminds you at the bottom of this card um, the order that the actions are taken. What are the actions? Well, the actions are these four things. You've got them on two cards here. This is the build action, which involves you actually taking a card from your hand. Um, although I think it's not your hand, but it's technically not your hand because your hand is in view of, of um, your opponent. It's on the table. Uh, it's called your supply. Okay, so this is your supply in full view of your opponent. So the first action build involves you taking a, uh, a card from your supply and starting to um, add it to your um, Oreo here in front of you. Okay, so this area will be for that. This area will be for your supply. Another nice action is, well, you're not going to have any cards in your, in your supply, in your hand, until you actually get them, which this plan action allows you to do. So if you choose this action, you're allowed to take uh, the card that's sitting here next to the deck or the card on top of the deck and add it to your supply over there uh, And then later of course you as I just said you can use the build action to put it into your uh, Granary here these two actions down here are the take that actions. This will allow you to sabotage your opponent and This one will allow you to steal a card from there supply sabotage just means well I'll, I'll explain that as i'm explaining how the actions are chosen at uh, these these are kept secret okay um and both of you simultaneously will choose one of these four actions to play but you choose it face down okay and if i want to choose the build action I, I, I face it away from me and i place that face down my opponent uh, might do uh choose this face down and then we reveal them Simultaneously, I've chosen the um, I've chosen the build action. My opponent's chosen the plan action. So according to our card here, uh, plan uh, plan goes before build. So this player will go first, um, and plan means taking one of these cards from the the market here, if you like. Okay, and they haven't got anything in there granary yet so they're looking at the cards they already have in their hand and they're thinking okay how shall i add to that so maybe uh, i don't want to take a mouse so i'll take this one and put that into their hand my turn is to build so i'm going to actually by building i get to take a card from my um from my supply and this one looks good and i'll just place it down there in my in my oreo okay now mentioning the action that was uh, that is sabotage if if i did if this person did play the sabotage action all that means is they don't get to do anything else but i have to um, flip my action and do the do the opposite of what i was planning to do so that messes with things 
a little bit. So as you keep going here, you just keep um, simultaneously choosing actions. You can't have the same action two turns in a row. And eventually this, uh, this um, tableau in front of you starts to grow, okay? As you get cards from there and you start placing them in a, in a row here in, in some sort of strategic form format, okay? You can place them exactly um, flush like that. Uh, on either side or you can start you can even start to do this cover up certain things and do that cover up as far as that if you like okay so that's really the, the strategy here trying to get the various features um, um, showing uh, in, 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 that's going to maximize your points and the way you score in this game is every rat that's that's um, showing in your building is worth minus two points. If you can manage to get these two um, statues, uh, are they called statues? I'm not sure. They're uh, cross and pike. Okay, they're cross and pikes. If you can, if you, each pair of those will give you four points. Um, each group of pillars together, you can see the three pillars there. Three pillars gets me two points, right? Even groups of pillars get you more points than the odd groups, and I really like that. So that messes that a little bit and makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, I've got two doors here in at the moment going on, and so the doors are also score according to how many you've got. One other thing I haven't mentioned here is the owls. I'm not sure. Oh, there's an owl. Let's put an owl in here. Let's say I, I played the the plan action my next turn. I put the plan action down. That means I get to draw a card from the market and I'm gonna draw this owl. Why? Because the owls cancel out the mice. Okay, and we don't want mice in, in this granary. So, um, and yeah, in a way to try and get an, um, these group of pillars together. Now I've got four there. Um, um, yeah, like I said, it, 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 it makes more sense a lot of the time to overlay, but this time I'm just gonna do that. So that way, I've now got a group of four pillars, and four pillars is an even number and gets me five points. And now I've got an owl up there, and according to the, the handy-dandy scorecard on the back there, the owls cancel out the mice, okay? So uh, that, that's good to have owls. This owl will cancel out that mice, uh, that mouse, sorry, and so I don't lose the negative two. And you keep going building like this, it's, it's a lot of fun just to um, um, draw cards and, and try and find ways for these to uh, to work. Yeah, just something like that. Or maybe at least get the two doors next to each other or whatever. You just keep building like this until there's only one card left in the market and one card left in, in the player's um, supply. And then we score it up. And as I said, the score is, the scorecard explains that the, the a bit strange here. The scorecard says that the the pair of of cross and pike gives you three points, whereas the rule book says the cross and pike pair gives you four points. And have it on good authority that we're supposed to follow the the scorecard. The rat, the mice are negative two. The the owl will cancel out the mice. Groups of doors, groups of pillars together, and if you do manage to get a longer granary than your opponent, and that's counted by these sections so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 this one is 16 sections long if that's longer than my opponent i'm going to get the extra five points there and he total it up and whoever's uh, got the most points wins i uh, i like the the simultaneous um i like the simultaneous um and hidden uh, cho choosing of the actions i don't mind that that creates a little bit of tension well, I'm not. Uh, I'm not crazy about um, both take that actions being here. Uh, I don't mind the 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 sabotage actually, where you force the the opponent to flip their action and do the other one. The stealing of uh, where's the stealing? Uh, oh, it must be here. <laughs> it's I've got them mixed up. Okay, the the stealing one, which is this this action. Um, probably unnecessary, but I understand why it's there. It's, it's, it's to create a little bit of competitiveness in the game, and that's okay. Um, yeah, you, you've got to have that sometimes. So it, it, 
Um, and, I, and I really, really love the, the, the fun of getting this Oreo in, in the right um, configuration with the doors and the pillars and the, uh, the, the owls cancelling out the mice, the, trying to get the pairs of the, the cross and pike. This is a very challenging little puzzle in front of me and I, and I really like working on that um, and um, maximizing my points. Great artwork uh, and I love the fact that the, that the cards are double-sided too so there's plenty of variation there. So this is still available, it's still in print on the Buttonshy website. I think it's a really fun game, I reckon you should try it out if you can. Okay, thanks for watching, see you later.